Look, the accusation is the rejection, not the judgment that follows from the accusation. If you stand accused by someone, it's because they choose to accuse. You don't do that to someone you love. So, you should make as much distance between you and that person as is reasonably possible. Because they will act according to their accusation. It will be a judgment. You can't effectively defend it. Because it's not the content of the accusation that is the problem. It's their hostility towards you in their value system, in their mind. So you should step away, else you will have to battle with the consequence of their accusation. So your partner might claim that you're no longer being loving. Don't take this as a reality. Especially if it comes as a surprise to you because you feel you've been as loving as you could be. Take it as an accusation. It tells you of the judgment they wish to bring against you. Now you can battle all you like against this. It will only turn into a war, surprisingly. No matter how loving and helpful and cooperative and understanding you are, it will be interpreted according to their accusation and judgment, which sees a sinister ulterior motive in your behavior, reads it as manipulation and something to be dealt with severely. You are quite simply wasting your time. I like that story, and I've said it before, of the saint who never gets beyond his front gate. Not for his sake, but for their sake. Because he knows his saintliness is a, an offence to them. Will not bless them. Except they're drawn to it. And come to him. If you think of it, it's like we need to be with children and with animals. If you step towards them, well, their experience is such that they protect themselves and read it as a hostility and recoil. Whereas if you just sit down and let them come to you, if they so choose, well, if they do come to you, it'll be lovely. And if they don't, no amount of your loveliness will be anything but repellent to them because of the fears they have. Hmm. How do we reach then those that so obviously need our help. You don't. You trust it to God. 
He is the teacher here. Not you and I. Call no man teacher on the earth. For one is your teacher, even your Father in heaven. Call no man father, boss, leader, governor. For one is your your leader, your dad, your heavenly father. Thank you, Dad.